The reason that I'm a psychic today is because of my aunt. She used to host these tea parties where she'd read tea leaves, psychically divining questions and concerns from members of the public. And I'd like to show you what one of those is like tonight. But I'll obviously need some guests. So, uh, Terry Crews, who will come out and join me? Terry Crews, everyone, give him a round of applause. <laughs> Hello, Terry. I want you to pick a member of our audience to join us during this. So look at our beautiful audience and then... How about you, the young lady right there? Yes, yes. Join us on stage. Give her a lovely round of applause. Up you come. And then, Terry, if you want to go and sit on that far seat for me, Howie Mandel, will you join me on stage You're as well? Get Everyone, into give Howie a big round of applause. Up you come, Howie. You want to sit just down there. So, when people come to psychic tea parties like this, they tend to ask a question they don't know the answer to. And, Howie, that's exactly the sort of question I'd like you to think of right now. I'm going to look away. I want you to write that question nice and clearly on that piece of paper so you can show the other judges. And just let me know as soon as you're finished with that. I've got it. You got it? I do. Perfect. Will you show the other judges? Uh, I'll keep looking, Wayne. And then as soon as you've done that, I want you to take that piece of paper, tear it up and throw it in the teapot in front of you. It's a lot of work. So your question's gonna brew with the tea now. Okay. Which basically means that I... Oh. ...can drink your question and figure out what it is. Okay, so straight away, you're normally like a comedic person, and I get the vibe that this is about your family, isn't it? Absolutely. My son, see, it's, it's a son, uh, Alex, isn't it? You're thinking of Alex, your son. Yes. Yes. And you're, this is something you tease him about a lot because you want to know whether he's going to find someone to marry, don't you? Well, yes. Whoa. You saw that. Now, the second question that people ask psychics is questions that they know the answer to, and they're looking for me to prove my psychic skills. That's why I asked Terry to bring you on stage, someone that none of us has ever met before. Your name is? Grace. Grace, lovely to meet you, Grace. Now, Grace, I want you to do a question in mind that if I knew the answer to, would convince you that I was psychic. Okay. So, have you got something in mind? Yes. Yes, perfect. Okay, I want you to put your left index finger in your T for me. <laughs> and I just want you to think about that question, okay? So, right. I'm thinking. Okay, right. You can take your finger. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I will try this. <laughs> oh. Grace, you've already decided what your child's name should be, haven't you? Yes. Yes, good. Okay, look forward for me. And in a second, out loud for everyone, say the name that you want to name your child. Keep your eyes forward, no peeking. Out loud for everyone. What do you want to name your child? Summer. Oh, no! no. <laughs> now, Terry... Yeah? So I want you to get your question in mind now. Okay. And then I want you to pick up your cup of tea and just hold it in between two hands. I'm going to reach around you so I can hold your hands. This is for the psychic demonstration. Also... <laughs> We'll keep going. Okay. Okay, Simon... Sl uh, Terry's slightly harder to read, and... I don't want to get this wrong, because we... Okay, we'll try this. My aunt always said, when you're not sure of something in life, you'll find the answer at the bottom of a cup of tea. Terry, what was your question? What size are my shoes? What size are your shoes? One of a kind. One of a kind. And for everyone here, what size are your shoes? Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, no! This is size 14. <laughs> me. Wow. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Terry, Grace, Howie. Good night. <laughs>